Hello, so welcome back to some more Night in the Woods. Ah, uh, so, um, to my great dismay, I recorded about 30 to 40 minutes of the game and I was about to stop recording at the end of the chapter when I realized that I didn't record any of it at all, like I thought I did. So basically, I'm just going to summarize what happened. Um, uh, May goes to work with B. Um, she, I think she could have chosen to hang out with Greg, but I chose to hang out with B. Um, and they go and fix this furnace at uh, um, this woman's house, and basically they, yeah, she, they get locked in the basement and um, May breaks the furnace in order to get the woman, I think her name was Mrs. Anderson or something, to unlock the basement door and get them out. But yeah, so that's the summary of what I um, played in the last half hour. I'm sorry it didn't get recorded, but um, yeah, we're going to continue from here. So you can see in the journal entry that she went to work and they broke, she broke the furnace with the baseball bat. And they were joking about the husband and things like that. Um, because the, because Mrs. Anderson was really mad that they took her dead husband away. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see what's on the laptop today. The... Hey, got a call from Mrs. Oh, it was Mrs. Miranda. Apparently she's upset that we messed up her basement. Whatever, she didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello. I'm here to be helloed at. Hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap falcon more like it. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna actually go say hi first to Greg today. Let's see if the boxes have been moved. Yeah, no, they haven't been moved. Yawn. Morning. Long night. Yeah. I went to work with B. Oh, are you going to, going to work there? No, Mom. I was just tagging along. So I was, like, really useful. Mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, I've just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm hmm Have a nice day. Mom doesn't seem very happy today. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Oh, there's a, a telescope today. The teacher is there with his telescope. So let's go check it out. Oh no, I fell. So the day before it was actually raining. I'm so sad that it didn't record. I'm so pissed off. Ugh. Okay, there. May Borowski. Yup. Up here on my roof. Yup. 
Come to hunt some dusk stars? Definitely. Come have a look. Yay. Whoa! My eyes. Filter. Uh. Simone the fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land, but under every good land are the roots of oppression, and in this land those roots took hold and choked out all else. And that was poetic, Mr. Chazikov. Thanks. I was just reading the summary off my phone. <laughs> oh. We may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi. <laughs> anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her crew, of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. Was she? We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, oh, goddammit. I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace, the palace gates. And behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on. And the bones of all in her country. Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky. Bah! That is history. remember the name of the other stars. Oh, okay, I'm getting close to one. This one? Alright. Found one, found one, found one. Let's have a look. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Uh, by the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. <laughs> Was he not psychic? Who can say? Do we believe any tale occurred? Hmm. Either way, one day his king met a new sage, an astronomer, and she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? Um, no. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the, to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. <laughs> the stars, they make one think. That's both of them for today. Neato. 
Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. Beh. <laughs> okay, Sterling, Simone. What were the other ones? Oh, Dor and Castus. Dor is the one with the sword, and Castus is the. I don't remember the stories about them. Okay, so I'm actually gonna pause here really quickly. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Um, was just. Um. Seemed like my cousin was ready to play another game, but um, okay. Let's see, Solmers. Tell me what's up, Solmers. You know what's good? Off the top of my head, <clears throat> not bleeding on your seat in junior high. Um, I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies we used to eat in grade school. All right, yeah, those were really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. The juice box and headphones. I enter the juice stone. Geez, those are all like, like, are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks in the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right on this stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. I've seen a fire up by there the other night. I wonder who is up there. Aw, oh, that's weird. Who's this? I haven't seen Gregory in a while, or Greg. I wanna go see Greg. Actually, let's see what Angus is up to. How's the video line? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What, horror movie? Yeah. Um, uh, Black Oaks. Oh, nice. Witchy. Hell yeah, it's witchy as hell. And scary. Yeah, that's one's like, that one's like historical. The witchy version. Well, see you later. Bye. Hey, CJ? Yo? You were like in high school and I was in middle school. Oh, huh. Did I know you? We used to play with, play nerd games with Tom Bramo. Across the street from my house. Haha, uh -huh, nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? No, I just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a prof professional capacity, but yeah, sure. <laughs> What's this? Uh, I don't know. What's the best way to rob a bank? That's not really legal advice. Legal's like laws, right? Uh, and bank robbing is a crime, right? And crimes are against the law? It's all related. I guess just, you know, bandit mask and a gun? It's been done. 
You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. What is the fun of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful s shit? That is very true. Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. <laughs> Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye! Uh, see ya. Yeah, you got those people. The ones who are successful and stuff, and they like, you know, whatever. And stuff. Sunny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? Ah, oh, it's nothing. Hey, uh, ghost melters, right? Yeah, ghost melters. Yeah, why is he not all about the smelters today? Hey, hey, hey! Hi! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something! Okay, wow. Uh... <laughs> You drink, like, all the coffee? I can't have coffee. It makes me anxious. Oh, wow, that sucks. And it tastes gross. Oh, no. Not if it's mostly milk and sugar. That's true. I like my coffee with a lot of milk and sugar. Actually, non-dairy cream and sugar. Sorry. Seems like a lot of hassle. To make something gross taste okay. Good point. So do do do. You want to do something something something? <laughs> uh, I uh, can't today, dude. Oh man, it's cool. I actually want to see what B wants to do. Let me see if it's actually faster to go this way. Holy shit! The dudes! Someone hecked up the dudes! Who did this? Why did they do it? Oh, it says nuke... Hoss. Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here too. Oh, the trolleys. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Are the trains? Maybe? Oh, hello? Hey, it's me. I remember old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What did you want to tell me about Grandad? Well, I'll only say if you really want to know. Is it scandalous? Oh, I don't think so. I'm old enough that nothing feels scandalous anyway. Is that a thing that happens when you get old? Hehe, <laughs> depends on the life you led. Okay, anyway, you got a history of troublemakers in your family. On your daddy's side in particular. Oh? Go back far enough, you got folks that were around for the real hard times. When the workers went up against armies. Oh yeah, I kind of remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa or whatever might have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of violence. That was before even our time. Nah, we were around to watch the tide roll out. And? We'll need to talk again another time. I get tired. Oh. Okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. No, I'm just fine, me. We'll talk another time. Okay, see you. Oh, I should go down here and talk to her. I don't know if I've ever... Um, actually... Wife long gone, kids don't care, tunnel fish are always there. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, man. Oh god, please don't listen. Aw, oh, poor guy. I can't believe they 
kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. Oh wait, the church should be open now, right? Let's go say hi to Marl at the church. can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement or in the old library? With all the books? He's not going to eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. Look forward to us moving forward together on this. It will be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. Hello. Hello. You're Candy's daughter, right? Yep. Who are you? Kate, but most people call me Pastor Kate. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh, new to me at least. Hello. 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 Do me a favor. Take that last hello and give it to Bruce. Bruce? Bruce lives across the street. In the woods? For now at least. You want me to go talk to a strange man in the woods? Bruce isn't strange. He's my friend, and he's a part of this community. Oke doke. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. Pastor K. Aw. Nice picture. I thought I'd nuke Possum Springs. Aw. Interesting. I don't want to miss anything when I'm playing this game, but at the same time, like, I get a little impatient sometimes. Oh, mom looks bored. Hey, mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both the church budget and our budget same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, hon. Honey, I really do need to concentrate. Oh, I guess that's the library. Um, so say hello to Bruce across the street. That be across the street here. <laughs> Why is it breathing fire? Pastor K. W. Young. wanted to climb the water tower. Then that one kid died doing that. Whatever, I'll get to it. Probably see clear to brittle from from there. Is this the guy? Hello, I'm May Borowski. A uh, friend of Pastor King? Hey, I'm Bruce. I don't say much. That's fine. I talk a lot. But I can, like, not seen a fire through the trees last night past these woods here weird noises i just kept to myself and they went away where 
Right over there. Past the water tower. Okay. Yeah, that's a place where teens hang, hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange voices ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll be back? Hope not. Bruce. Aww. Wait, is there anything else I can see then? Nope. Okay. Just making sure. Sorry, I don't really read very well, right? It's especially if, like, my eyes are really dry these days. Dude, hello. How's work in here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I like refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. <laughs> hey May, how's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me? Unsuccessfully? Thus far at least? What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired because everything about my life is exhausting and I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner, even though I'm one employee and I do not own the store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you owned this place now. You'd think, but also no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin using materials and tools from the store, and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Ah. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? Let's hang out. Hey, hi B. Hi May. Hi Germ. Hey dude. Germ is helping me move stuff for under the table cache. <laughs> Germ is so cute. Well, I'm knocking off some off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers! Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails! Alright then. He's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is. Dinner at B's. This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food! You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. Donkey! You sure showed Ham Panther corporate who's boss. Actually, did you know our senator is on the Ham Panther board or something? You know you're zero fun, right? I do know that, yes. Okay, I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. 
I'm just here to grab something for dinner for dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what you what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. <laughs> Nay. Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need like a main course and two sides? <laughs> Fancy. Eh, we're traditional. What kind of main course? We can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Aww. <laughs> I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. We need a canned good or something. We need a canned good or something. Okay. <laughs> Tash. What's this? What's that? <laughs> I like the little sound effect. <laughs> Tash? Green beans, maybe? Chicken? I don't, I don't know. What is that? Chick? Wouldn't it be weird for them to be eating other animals if they're animals? Succotash, maybe? I'm guessing. Well, it's not broccoli, so green beans. Okay, tash. Succotash. Succotash. No. Greeny beanies. No. Cream of chicken soup. Ooh, yes. Delish. Maybe grab something from a box, too? Mac and cheese, ooh. Tasty taters, ooh. Mashy smooth, ooh, nice rice. That sounds boring. Good old mac and cheese. I just want to see what she says about the other ones. Taters. Mashed potatoes. Nice rice. Mac and cheese. Oh, I love mac and cheese. Mmm, boy, delicious. Check out the cooler. It's got stuff. Cool stuff. Ooh, quick skits. Cream green. Mmm, biscuits. No. Creamed spinach? No. Oh, I can only choose these between these two. Mmm, biscuits. So what do we have so far? Mac and cheese. Chicken soup. And her dad doesn't like broccoli. Creamed spinach should be okay, right? I like creamed spinach, actually. Ooh la la. My dad works at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. Oh, B's following me now. <laughs> he is working there. Ahoy there, ladies. Hey, dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meet friends. Helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes. Fishies. Fishes? Fishies? I don't know. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when he came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people? Yep, call the greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? 
not working. Oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? Chicken. Ground beef. Pork chops. Uh, let's see. Let's do... We have chicken soup already, so let's do... Let's do... One of your best fishes, please. Whatever is good. Dinner for three people. Not too pricey. Can do. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? No. Wait, Dad. I changed my mind. Chicken. Ground beef. Pork chops. Let's do ground beef, then. Classic! Hmm, do you want to pull the trigger trigger on these meats? Yes. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. Eh? I'll grill us up something nice. You can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right out. Alright, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great! Alright, let's keep moving. Alright ladies, let's see what you what all let's see what all you got. Hmm, hmm, yes, okay. Well that's interesting. Interesting? Maybe I'm just behind the times. Good luck! Alright. Thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, Dad. Night, ladies. That was fun! Yup, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is valid. Shopping is fun! <laughs> Woohoo. Dinner time! Um... Yeah... What? Do you want me to order a pizza? Nah, I got sandwich stuff. Alright. Aw, oh, did I ruin dinner? Yep, but we'll live, I think. Ha ha ha! I don't think creamy beef and chicken soup is gonna win you any blue ribbons at the fair. Oh, come on, I guarantee this is an actual recipe. Am I just bad at everything? No, just fixing things and planning meals. Those are big life skills. Did you like it? No, I agree, it is very terrible. So yeah, we're all paid up till, 15, uh, till the 15th next month. Alright. That rock salt sorted? Yeah, it should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh, I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. I think I might just get to them. Please do. We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the clock on the checks? Yours. Oh, I see the dynamic. Er, dinner ain't gonna set well. Smelter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. Smelter's, huh? You a fan? I like hockey. Hockey, psh. What's not to like about hockey? A bunch of men prancing around on ice skates. And beating the living crap out of each other. That's true, hockey is I think the most violent sport, isn't it? Eh, can't get excited about a puck. But, but, it's like expected that someone is going to be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Uh, 
anything else to say? I guess not. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty cool record player, as far as record players go. It was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. Haha, uh -huh. they were retro when she was she was a my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So I've got a question. Mm-hmm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? These days, not much. Uh, some administrative stuff? He hires the repair guys. He sometimes goes out on jobs. That's kind of his whole area. That's about it. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and working there every day too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I just think you're like selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you not doing anything about it just reinforces- Is this really the road you want to go down with this? I'm just saying you should roll over and just take it. Take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. What? Why? Arr. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek, repair guy, Creek at the shop. Repair guy, Creek at the shop. No. You've seen him. Talks a lot, worked for us since forever. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. What the? What the? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family. And he needs the work. That's disgusting. It's not your responsibility to- I know. Don't you think I know that? I'm just saying if you keep letting these dudes off the hook. Off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're like badass and shit. You, you. Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I. You are s such a shithead, you know that? Arg. Arg. Arg what? A lot of time folks can't just choose to do. Whatever it is, you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. I think they're both the same. You can always choose. You always have the choice. You always have the choice, says the child woman with no job, no rent no responsibilities, and no consequences for your stupid actions, I am seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I am screwing things up? You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time? You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful? It's just not right is what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. 
that is not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? Arg, I don't know anymore. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you did those days. I'd worked, I'd worked a good six hours before you even woke up, probably, and came home each night after you and I were done to pay bills and figure out how we're making next payroll while Dad slept on the couch. This isn't fun. I should go. You should go. Aww. That ended not so well. Beef. Bad beef. I wonder if there was a way to make dinner work out well. Ham, panther, dinner, fight. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I am garbage. Football. <laughs> Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. All socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long, and you're not usually looking at the ham panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it's nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. Any idea what was up with mom today? Oh, she's just dressed. That's vague. Haha, <laughs> well... I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Term. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. So how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. Bump of an empty beer bottle. <laughs> That's a wapa. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? How about you call body shameless? Ha 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 ha. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. <laughs> ah, so depressing. You, you there? Oh, she's not talking to me. Yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Oh, uh, why? 
No reason, just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with the Oh no, about what? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. You and me both. The asshole twins. I can't get matching jackets with that on the back. <laughs> Bar city jackets. Giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> Alright dude, I'm cashing out for the day. See ya, duder. Away message, born to lose, country trash proud, drummer, skate and destroy, fake skate to create, bound for glory. Mm. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna pause here really quick uh, because I am supposed to play a game with my cousins and I'll be right back. Hello, okay, and I'm back. So back to May and she's probably gonna have a nightmare again. So we have to get the little people playing songs. This is a lot scarier. I just realized this is like a train. Okay, I have no idea where the... Okay, here's one. Further than that? I don't think so. Yeah. How do I 
get over there. Let's go up this way first. Just need the tuba player. Where's this guy? I wonder if something happens or doesn't happen if you don't get all the lights. I just want to make sure. Well, anyway. like the constellations eating her? I don't know. Okay, so I think this is a good place to end this episode for today. I know that was just like a minute of me playing the, through the dream, but um... Yeah, I've actually been recording for a lot today. It's just most of it didn't actually end up getting recorded. Um, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next episode. Hopefully there won't be any technological snafus. Bye!